Today the weather's been kind of crazy and just like raining back and forth, even throughout the past week. And then just randomly, I was on my laptop laying in bed and then it started thundering and lightning and pouring rain really badly. Like, I saw flashes behind that curtain of lightning and literally thunder that shook like the house. It was loud and aggressive. And usually that would freak me out until I read this um, chapter in my devotional book. And it is, I'm going to read it. It says, on a dark and stormy night, the verse is Psalms 104, 1-3. Praise the Lord, my soul. Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. The Lord wraps himself in light as with a garment. He stretches out the heavens like a tent and lays the beams of his upper chambers on their waters. He makes a cloud to chariot and rides on the wings of the wind. It says, I used to be afraid of tornadoes and other natural disasters. Don't get me wrong, there are times when it's natural to be afraid of those things, especially if you ever experienced one yourself. When my fear would kick in with every flash of lightning or puff of wind, it was not rational, and I struggled with it for years. One night, I stayed with a friend who lives near Nashville, Tennessee. It was January, and the wind was ferocious that night. This was no ordinary winter wind. It was so strong to hear from inside the house, and it really scared me. At that time in my life, I was serious about my journey out of fear. I learned to not freak out over, over the weather or other things that sparked my anxiety, but to pray or read God's word. So I picked up my Bible, asked God to speak to me, that He could, and I could hardly believe what I read. Yep, Psalms 104, 1 to 3. When I read that, when I read that God rides on the wings of the wind, everything changed for me. Now I love the wind because it reminds me of God. God took something that caused me to be afraid for years, and in just a few minutes, he showed me that I didn't have to fear the wind at all. In fact, I could find strength and comfort in it. God always finds a way to speak to, into your stuff. He had been speaking into my stuff for a long time through his word, but I didn't know it because I didn't open the book. The power of God's word and the comfort of his Holy Spirit were there for me all the time. I just had to look for them. When you see something God created, remember his qualities, his power, his creativity, his love. And when you think on these things, you can overcome your fears and gather the courage to step into God's purpose for your life. And the prayer for this is, Lord, your word tells me that all creation sings your praises. Teach me to hear that song and to sing along. In Jesus' name, amen. God's presence is all around us, and even in the midst of the storm of your life that you may be in, he is still there. He rides on the wings of the wind, and I know we can all go through really hard times in our lives, and whatever storm you may be in, whether it's just like a light drizzle of insecure thoughts or whether it's thunder of anxiety thoughts or whether it's lightning of fear or pouring rain of just depression or maybe it's all of above and you're completely overwhelmed and you don't know what to do. I've been there. I've been there. And it's hard. It's not easy to come back from rock bottom but that's why we need God whatever storm season you're in in your life I encourage you and I urge you to please give it to God turn to him I know it's hard to open up your bible I know it's hard when you feel like God's forgotten about you and you feel left behind it's hard to trust that God cares and that he will do it or that he's, he hears you or that he cares for you, but he does. And those are the lies of the enemy. And I just rebuke them off you in Jesus' name because they have no power over you. They have no power over you. God gave you a spirit of love, 
power, strength, sound mind. He did not give you a spirit of fear. He did not give you a spirit of fear. Second Timothy 1 verse 7, For God did not give me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. So that fear you're feeling is not from God. That loneliness you're feeling, they're like, oh, God hates me. That's not from God. God loves you and he made you and he wants to calm the storms. If You would just keep your eyes on him. When Peter walked on the water with Jesus, everything was perfectly fine because his eyes were on God. But the second he started looking around him, at the waves crashing and the storm that was surrounding him, he started to sink into the water. And he was crying out to God, Lord, help me. And he, Jesus did. He helped him. But then he said, why did you lose faith? You know, why are we losing faith? Why are we taking our eyes off God? When the world gets hard, that's when we should be darting our eyes on him. Turning to him when we need him most. I mean, every situation, but... Honestly, why do we do it to ourselves? We self-sabotage ourselves because we take our eyes off God when we're going through fearful situations when we just should be giving our like sight to God and our lives to God and our situation to God because he is our healer. He is our helper. He loves you. He will pull you out of the storm. Okay? He will pull you out. He is real. God is real and he sees your situation and I promise you will get through this. God will get you through this. You will get through this. Please turn to God. Open your Bible. Pray. Listen to a worship song. Get into his presence. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be even a whole chapter of the Bible, but just opening up that thing, saying, Lord, would you guide me to a verse? Open up, he'll guide you to one. I've had to do that multiple times where I can't spend the time. I can, but with my mind and where I'm at mentally, I just don't have the willpower to open my Bible and read a few verses. So I'm just like, Lord, please guide me to one. And he does immediately. It's actually so cool. I encourage you to try it if you're in that sort of situation and just yeah, you're not alone. I mean, a lot of other people have been through storms as well. I have been through storms, but God has just recently pulled me out of one. And it's awesome. I feel a lot better and so happy and at peace. And he can and will do the same thing for you if you just remain in him as he remains in you. God is the vine, we are the branches. If we remain in him, we can bear much fruit. Apart from him, we can do nothing. Okay? So I just want to say God loves you. And he has a beautiful plan for your life. He has not forgotten about you. You will get through this. Please turn your eyes to God. Turn your face to him. He loves you. You are his child, his beloved child. He loves you. Turn to God, please. Whatever you are going through, you're not alone. And you will get through this in Jesus' name. It's going to be okay. He loves you. You're going to be okay. Okay? God's got you. He's got you. God has got you. He sees you. He's got a plan for your life. Persevere. Persevere. Ask for God's strength. His strength in you. Philippians says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Paul says that. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Through Christ who gives me strength. God's strength with with God's strength, you can do all things. You will get through this with God's strength, I promise you. He is going to help you. Turn to him, okay? It's going to be okay. Go to Jesus. Ooh, you got this.